Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier for power system components with a one-week manufacturing lead time and over 4 million parts in stock, we're hacking yachts, stopping trash can spies, creating feelings with Disney research, and putting the first Navy infrared camera into the crow's nest. A radio navigation research team at the University of Texas, Austin, has designed a GPS device with which they attempted to coerce a 213-foot yacht off course and succeeded. The team created the world's first openly acknowledged GPS spoofing device to pull the expensive boat from its heading. Essentially, the device creates a false civil GPS signal to gain control over a vessel's receivers. The spoof, which is the technical term for this hacking process, spoof, took place in the Mediterranean Sea, on the upper deck of the yacht known as the White Rose of Drox. That's not pretentious at all. The team broadcasted a faint ensemble of civil GPS signals towards the ship's GPS antenna. Slowly but surely, the fake signals overwhelmed the actual signals, and the team took control of the yacht. Because spoofing is still providing a signal to GPS sensors, albeit a farcical one, it does not set off alarms as jamming or blocking systems would. Once in control, the researchers used subtle maneuvers to take the ship a few degrees off course. Eventually, a discrepancy was reported by the yacht's navigation system. The crew corrected the issue, but thanks to the false navigation systems, each course correction set the ship further out of proper heading. The team hopes this experiment, and others to follow, will shed light on the perils of navigation attacks, serving as evidence that spoofing is a serious threat to marine vessels and other forms of transportation. This coming from the same team that led the first public capture of a GPS-guided drone. An elected member of the City of London Corporation has asked Renew London to stop using recycling bins to track the smartphones of pedestrians passing by. The bins are located in the cheap side area of central London and were installed with LCD digital screens before the 2012 Olympics to help advertisers target messages at people whom the bins recognized. By recording a unique identification number known as a MAC address from any nearby phones or other devices that have Wi-Fi turned on, the bins can identify if the person walking by is the same from the day before and how fast they are walking. The action to halt the bins from tracking smart devices follows the concerns raised by the privacy campaign group Big Brother Watch. According to Kaveh Mamari, Chief Executive of Renew, the devices only recorded extremely limited, encrypted, and anonymized data, and the current technology was just being used to monitor local footfall. You know, like a web page monitoring traffic. Or Oscar trying to get everybody away from his trash can. Get lost! We're all familiar with the current gaming trend of using your body as the controller with devices like the Xbox Kinect. Problem is, these devices don't give any tactile feedback, so you're basically swatting at air, which can sometimes lead to unjust anger toward Mario. Now, Disney Research has created Aerial, a low-cost, highly scalable haptic technology that delivers expressive tactile sensations in midair. Utilizing five actuators that are enclosed in a 3D printed case and attached to a tilt controlled 3D printed nozzle, the system allows free air sensations to be directed anywhere in space with a tilt gimbal structure, meaning it can easily coincide with a video game console, allowing you to actually feel the game. The actuators displace air inside the structure and through the nozzle, which directs the vortices in a programmed direction to coincide with the game or program. The vortices are easier to control and maintain over longer distances than more traditional jets of air, up to one and a half meters. Beyond just gaming, this interface can give users free air gestural feedback during operation, giving a tactile understanding of a movement. The team hopes that the air reel technology can be used to create large-scale computer augmented environments that can deliver compelling interactive experiences seamlessly. Complaints over noise pollution are typically reserved for neighborhood elders or parents of colicky infants. Well, regulatory authorities are sounding the alarm to protect the mighty whale from noise pollution caused by pile driving for wind farm construction and using seismic air guns when searching the seas for oil and gas. 
Until now, some vessels had little more than a scout with a pair of binoculars to monitor the surrounding seas, but eyes get tired and it's virtually impossible to see anything at night. So researchers at the Alfred Wegener Institute's Ocean Acoustics Lab turned the infrared first Navy camera from Rhine Metal Defense Electronics into a tool for automatic whale sightings. The thermal imaging camera is mounted on an active gimbal that compensates for the ship's movements in the crow's nest 28 meters above the polar stern, AWI's research icebreaker. The image takes five thermographic 360 degree images per second and produces 3.5 terabytes of data every day. The thermal sensor is so sensitive, in fact, that it detects differences in temperature of less than a hundredth of a degree Celsius. The software suite divides each image into 31,600 little snippets, which are processed for differences in brightness. The computer then determines if the contrast change is a whale's spout. The accuracy is impressive, and Polar Stern now detects twice as many whales than ever before. As always, the initial success will lead to expanded applications, including testing in warmer areas and detecting smaller sea creatures, like dolphins, porpoises, and the manatee. The poor manatee. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For PD&D TV, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire. <laughs>